Today we are creating a St. Patrick's Day themed birdhouse. We're going to make an Irish pub out of our little birdhouse and we're using dress it up button embellishments, some of the St. Patrick's Day button collection. We are using Slancha and Celtic Creations. We're going to use a variety of both of these packages of buttons and you're going to need some acrylic paint, some paint brushes, as well as your hot glue gun. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is give your birdhouse a nice even coat of a solid color paint. For the structure itself, I have used a dark slate colored gray, and for the roof, I have used a maroon colored red. I am going to add some dry brushing to the roof to make it look, to look a little bit more aged, and I'm going to add some simple brush strokes to the gray to give it the appearance of bricks. Once you have created the second layer of paint, you want to let that layer dry before you move on to any other paint embellishments. Once your layer of dry brushing has dried over your brick layer and over your roof, it is time to add any of the greenery that you would like to paint onto your birdhouse. I've kept mine very abstract. My flowers are just a whisper of a flower. The greenery is not perfect, but that's okay because I'm going to be looking at this from a distance. And the most important part of this is going to be the dress it up button embellishments that I add to this. So any of the painting that happens is just going to be secondary to all of the amazing embellishments that we're going to add once the painting has dried. Once your paint has dried, now it is time to add your dress it up button embellishments. We're using Celtic Creations and Slancha. Both of these have Celtic and Irish themed buttons inside. We're going to add a little bit of both of these to the outside of our birdhouse using our hot glue gun. The first thing I want to add to my birdhouse is this little Irish pub menu board. I'm going to take the shank on the back and trim that off and then I'll have a nice flat surface that I can then glue with my hot glue gun to the outside of my birdhouse. The next thing I'm going to add to my birdhouse are these cute little beer mugs. There is a green one and then a kind of a creamy yellow color. I'm going to take the shanks off of both of these and I'm going to layer these over the hole on the top of my birdhouse, kind of overlapping the base so that they're both sitting at kind of an angle. Next I'm going to add some of these green shamrocks right at the edge where the ground would be for our birdhouse. I've added the Irish flag to the top of the birdhouse. I've laid that right across the top of the roof where the two corners of the roof meet. And I've actually used super glue for this instead of hot glue just because I want to be sure that that little flag is not going to come off. Next, I dipped into my dress it up button embellishment stash and pulled from the goddess garden button embellishments that I have and I pulled out all of the little green flowers that were included in the goddess garden and I have added those to the greenery that is on my birdhouse as well. Once all of your glue and paint has dried, you are ready to display your newly created St. Patrick's Day themed Irish pub birdhouse. This would be the perfect addition to any of your St. Patrick's Day decorations or you could put this in a windowsill or on your back porch, anywhere where you can enjoy it all year.